Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and today we're going to talk about Darkness Falls, a movie that had a very troubled production, uh, many rewrites and reshoots, uh, many and titles, and titles, <laughs> uh, and we're going to figure out: is this a forgettable horror flick, or is this a modern cult classic? Talking about tapes. Thank you to Savvy for sponsoring this episode. Hey, Tony. Where'd you get that cool President Loki Funko Pop? The same place I get all my pop culture goodies, Zavi. Zavi? Zavi owns licenses for brands like Marvel, Pokemon, DC, Disney, Jurassic World, and more. I'm looking at their stuff now. Sadly, the item I want is only on their UK site. Good news! They ship worldwide from both sites. Click the link in the description and use code HACKMOVIES to get 10% off site-wide and 20% off clothing. I can't wait to buy some items today. I hope they have merch of my favorite character, She-Hulk. Oh, they do! Hello, Kira. How are you? Hello, I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> good, good, good. It's a little dark in the store. I figured it was spooky and darkness falls. It should be dark. Yeah, yeah. But I made sure we were under the lights so we don't get thank, eaten. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Johanna. How are you? I'm great, Tony. How are you? Doing all right. I how missed you? you. I I'm missed good. you. You're supposed to be in the last episode. Aww. Hey, hey, you know how I'm doing? I sliced the top of my finger there. Why are you giving me the finger? Also, why aren't you wearing a Band-Aid? Because I found out yesterday as I sli sliced the top of my finger mm -hmm. that I do not have Band-Aids in my house. But you know for sure that I now have Band-Aids because I said, hold on, we got to stop at CVS. I got to buy Band-Aids. What kind of Band-Aids? He tried to get the Band-Aids that are specific for um, like brown skin tones. And as I an ally. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No fun characters? No. No. Darkness Falls. This is the first horror film and first feature film of Jonathan Liebsman, mm -hmm. who's gone on to do many movies, some of them good. Uh, if you remember our worst Texas Chainsaw Massacre episode, I actually like the prequel to the Texas Chainsaw remake more than the remake. He directed that. Mm. I think he did the Ninja Turtles reboot. Oh, yeah. And he did the sequel to Clash of the Titans remake, The Wrath of the Titans. Never watched it. He, he's very hit or miss. Uh, but this is his first film. Now... I saw this in theaters. Did you guys see this in theaters? Yep. No, I saw it at home. Ah, well, I saw it in theaters. Because I was, was traumatized. It Me was too. PG. <laughs> it was PG thirteen. Yeah. Not supposed to be PG thirteen. A lot of the end result of this movie was not what it was supposed to be. Uh, yeah, I remember me and my cousin went to see this, and we had a fun time at, at the time because this is uh, two thousand three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yes, two thousand three, and I know that because they make sure on the cover to tell you that it. It runs rings around the ring. That's a lie. I, that's not true. That is an absolute lie. I'm still re-watching the ring. It still kind of gives me the chills. Darkness falls. You know who's not. not watching the ring review on Hack the Movies? Our audience. What is anyway, wrong with you? It was a really good episode. It was about like how it's actually a decent remake. And Isn't it me, you, and Crystal? Yeah. Me and Crystal are in it. What's wrong with you? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're on that boat. Uh, why didn't you guys watch the Thor episode? Because it's Marvel. Ginger Snaps. Ginger Snaps is because you people <laughs> have bad snaps. taste. Anyway. I watched Ginger Snaps. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yes, it's all with my cousin. We had a lot of fun watching it at the time. <laughs> I remember an older guy yelled at me as I left the theater. Because there was another kid in the theater who was really annoying and kept cursing, mm -hmm. kept throwing around the C word, oh. or as our European audience knows it as. <laughs> uh, but the American audience, you can't say that. Make sure to censor. Australians what I just can said. say it too. Australians too. Uh, he just kept saying it, like to the screen, and it was weird. We can't say. <laughs> only in America, it's a it's a problem. Women have a problem with it in so America. So you're no, no, too, but like, we can say it. Oh, I was he hoping can. I would get censored. I was going like, to say it like five times. <laughs> no, we're, we're definitely censoring it. Uh, we can say it. Men can. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like that one of those seems, reclaiming a That doesn't seem like the spirit of equality. But anyway, <laughs> the thing is, I remember leaving the theater with my cousin. I'm like, did you hear that guy who kept saying C word over and over again? And this older gentleman in front of me heard me say the C word. But they didn't hear the kid. No. And he didn't hear the context of which I said the C word. He's like, that's a nice fucking mouth. How about I punch you in the face? I'm like, 
I was quoting someone. So you're like that a baby so at the time. Fun. That's 2003. I was like 12, 13. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So I, so I was annoyed about another kid cursing so much, and then when quoting that kid, it also led to someone wanting to punch me. So that kid ruined a my child. Night. Everybody wants to. Punch but anyway, everybody. I remember seeing this in the theater, having fun, and I went. I'll probably never watch it again. Mm -hmm. I've maybe seen it once or twice since. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen clips of it. Right. Uh, but I actually watched it last night. Mm -hmm. And then I watched it last night again. Mm -hmm. And then I watched it this morning. <laughs> because as you'll find out throughout this film, mm -hmm. really, really troubled production. And I wanted more details, but I couldn't find enough specifics online. And look, IMDb and everything is great. We use that as a resource all the time. But sometimes physical media is the way to go because you can just fire up those commentary tracks. So there's two different commentary tracks, one with the director and producers and another one with the writer and producer. Uh, and I listened to both because I wanted to know what the fuck, what happened with this movie? I will never watch this movie again. I am burnt out on Darkness Falls. Uh, but yes, it was written by Joe Harris. He's the one who came up with it. Okay. And I sent you guys the short film he did. Did you watch it? I did. That is what sold the movie. It's okay. Yeah, it's yeah okay. I wasn't mad. I mean, if, if it's I'm, a lot more graphic than the. Yeah, it got a little graphic at the end, didn't yeah. it? Uh, so, yeah, he wanted to do it as a short. And the I guess the producer was like, no, you should make this a feature. Here, shoot the short. Mm -hmm. But we're going to pitch this as a feature. He hasn't done much work in film since, but he's done a lot of stuff in comics. Mm -hmm. He actually wrote the X-Files season 10 and season 11 comics, which were actually better than the actual X-Files season 10 and 11, which came out, which were bad. Mm -hmm. uh, it was also written by James Vanderbilt. Who wrote, speaking of flop episodes that no one watched, The Rundown. That's such a good movie. And there's a lot of witty dialogue in this that kind of counters the rest of the tone of the movie. And I wonder if he wrote most of that. Uh, he also wrote Zodiac, like which Zodiac. a really good thriller. Yeah. The Losers. He wrote the terrible Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. Yes, they're terrible. I don't care if he was good in No Way Home. Those movies are still bad. Uh, the awful Independence Day sequel. I didn't know there was a sequel. I still haven't seen it. I knew it existed. And um, he wrote the new Scream, which is pretty good. So he's oh, in a mess. Okay. Yeah. He's in a yeah. mess. Uh, and then the other writer is John Fasano, who wrote another 48 Hours, the disappointing sequel to 48 Hours. Okay. And Universal Soldier, The Return, the disappointing sequel to Universal Soldier. <laughs> and Zombie Nightmare starring Adam West. Well, that's good. Who I mentioned recently in our underrated animated Batman movie. I mentioned how I got him to sign this. Yeah. And then I was there with my hero who played Batman and has the same birthday as me. And all I could think to say was, I love the zombie nightmare. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so that's the talent we're working with here. Huh. Good old Jonathan Liebsman at the helm. Uh, this movie was, the title changed multiple times. Mm, I heard about that. Yes, it was uh, Don't Peek. I didn't hear that. Yes. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, the Legend of... It was, it was the Tooth Fairy, The Legend of Matilda Dixon. Yeah, I think that's the one I heard. And then just the Tooth Fairy. And they were like, you know what? The movie's called The Tooth Fairy. And then they came up with a monster. And actually, it was Steve Wang, who actually did the Predator uh, effects in the first Predator. Stan Winston did an uncredited design. Of, like Stan Winston designed the Predator, but this guy did the actual effects. Okay. Um, he designed this beautiful creature for the movie The Tooth Fairy. <sighs> oh. Uh, and Jeez. then they went, nah, we're not doing that. We're getting Stan Winston. He's going to make a different monster and we're changing the title. But they didn't change it in time for Todd yeah. McFarlane's Movie Maniacs line. And they already printed the Tooth Fairy from the Tooth Fairy with the original design. And that's Doug Jones yeah, in the monster outfit. Jones. I love Doug Jones. Yeah. There is... Wow. There are pictures. Like, look at that, and then look at what's in the movie. Yeah. It's like, yeah. why? I think I know. No, I know. I think I know why. I think I know why. Um, but there are production stills that you can find of this. Not many video. I only oh. found one video of this monster, and it is horribly compressed, like cell phone footage almost. Oh. That's the best I could get of it. Uh, yeah. But that's a cool design. So yes, um, famously just reshot all the time rewritten throughout the film and it shows, I don't know if it shows for you guys. Maybe no. I'll bring some of it to There's light. certain things where you're just like, did I? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian Tyler did the music and apparently he reused most of his score from the movie Timeline. Why? Well, Cause why come up with timeline, new? <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> it worked out. Hey, other, other 
people have done it. I famously pointed out in rental reviews, the first episode of rental reviews, we did Mac and Me. What's uh, what's rental reviews? Don't worry about okay. it. Uh, and I pointed out Alan Silvestri used the Predator score, but changed the key to make it happy. Okay. <laughs> like he just called it a day. <laughs> Fuck it. Did it work? All yeah, it worked. I'm matters. the only one I know who's ever pointed it out. <laughs> uh, and this is one of my favorite things. Uh, when movie is too short because it sucks. Yeah, they extend the credits. The 11 minute long <laughs> credit sequence. I was going to say, like, I feel like it felt like a longer movie when I was younger mm -hmm. and then rewatching and I was like, oh, it's Oh, it's over? a short movie. Yeah. Um, the people who did the end credits and even the opening, mono, uh, opening like story. Yeah. I did like it, the opening story. It's the uh, graphics. I loved it, that yeah. legend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the graphics effects house who did the openings for like Mimic and Seven. Remember Seven's mm -hmm. opening credits uh, with like Mimic the diaries? Mimic is with the roaches? Yeah. It's the same people who did that. So anyway, oh. let's, uh, let's get into roaches? this. Let's get into this movie. Trying to smash the girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for so sure. So let's get into this movie, uh, and kind of pick it apart and see like what what scene belonged to what version of what script. Mm. Uh, sadly, I did not read the prequel comic, uh, but apparently no, there's a prequel don't. comic. Okay. So before we begin, I just yeah. want to ask you, why do you hate women? What the? F what? Some, some broad. broad. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me well, let me get into it. Okay, so some broad named Matilda wasted her wealth by giving coins to children when they lost their tooth. Which obviously she didn't have a husband, so she Some wasn't broad. managing her wealth. Yes. <laughs> but everyone, Tony supports women. I do. Uh, See, regrettably. This is why he wants to use the C word. <laughs> <laughs> do they legitimately bleep you if you say the C word? I'm gonna bleep myself just because I know channels Will who've gotten fucked me? over for saying it. Yes. <laughs> Jessica, that's a bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> So anyway, uh, they so this whole story, yeah. they changed the rules of the monster in writing. Originally, in a, some draft of the script, it was going to be like, you have to look at her for yeah. her to kill you. Yeah. Well, the, the, now it's like, if you see her, she can kill you. But literally, like she, you had to be looking at her for her like to murder you. Like direct eye contact? Or? Yeah. So they had these, all these different backstories. And there was supposed to be a classroom scene where kids were doing a project explaining the origin. Okay. And they were like, Nah, cut that shit out. Come up with this new like they like they had to stitch together the rules for their monster and mm -hmm. put it in this opening, who, narrated by whoever the fuck. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, she I gave mean, I the enjoyed kids. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I enjoyed it. The yeah. I mean, it yeah. makes it, it works. Uh, yeah. But basically, she gives the coins to the kids when they're nice. Right. She got burnt. She wore a porcelain mask, and then two kids went missing, and everyone said, "Oh, the horrible burn victim obviously did it." Not the one who was nice giving our children money. Yeah. That's how life used to be, though. They're like, you know what? She makes bad decisions. She probably burned herself. <laughs> no. I don't know what she was doing. She probably <laughs> smoking in bed. She's probably like, this is a good idea. Uh, <laughs> this is ginger snaps. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they murder her. Right. Without a trial. Right. Which, I don't know. I feel like they should all uh, do process people. Uh, but it turns out the kids were fine. The next morning, the two children were found safe and sound. Mm -hmm. they Where were they? they? showed up. I don't know. They walked out of the woods or something, right? They probably they got were lost just in the fine. woods. Yeah, and then they were just probably found. Kids get lost. I, yeah. I, <laughs> um, so yeah, now uh, now she wants, she vows revenge. Yeah. With her last breath. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm going to turn into the tooth fairy and kill your kids if they look at me when I'm giving them money. Which is really crazy. Uh, these people, you know, off you. Why is my like? Why am I getting punished for my great great great? great oh shit! Slavery. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Wait. Which remember, I am against. I realized halfway through the sentence the when you started saying it, I was like, and then I was like, wait, <laughs> no. wait a minute. She's not that old. I think. Uh, well, but still, it's like, why are we being like, this is years and years later. We had nothing to do with those people. Well, yeah, Don't even is, know their names. It's weird that she's targeting like the kids. Yeah, that too. Instead of the adults that murdered her. It's not her. like Freddy Krueger. Like Freddy Krueger was killing kids in life and yeah, yeah, he yeah. continued to do it in death. Like. Yeah. Those kids just got lost or whatever. They didn't like hey, purposely. Hey, I'm just saying God started killing some kids for no reason because someone didn't want to let people go. So I mean, kids are kind of shitty though. So maybe okay, it was this, like, this, <laughs> this. you know, because they like point out your insecurities. So, you know, they could have been the ones she's like walking through town. Why and they're are you like, fat? Oh, why does your face look like that? I could see that. I could see that. Um, 
<laughs> adults so, yes. were like, why does her face look like that? So, so apparently if Matilda Dixon visits you and you see her. Mm-hmm. If you lose your last baby tooth. On, when you lose your last baby tooth. Yes. She'll show up and you don't look at her. Mm-hmm. Don't peek. Don't peek when she goes to grab your tooth. Even though she's beatboxing in the corner of your room. Is she? Yeah, she's she's, she's very noisy. Why is she so loud? <laughs> Yeah, because because I wake up too. I'd be like, "Bitch, shut the fuck up!" No, no, because cla- classic woman. Like, I don't want anyone to look at me ever. And then she goes to the room. She's like, Rah. "Yeah, she's doing ASMR in the corner." Rah. Oh my god, why are you looking at me? It's like, well, you you drew my attention. Like, oh my god, you're so obsessed with me. It's like, I was minding my own business, lady. <laughs> Is there something you want to tell us? Anyway, uh, <laughs> so yes, uh, we meet our main character, Kyle. Lost right. his lost his tooth. Mm-hmm. So I never really Drinks realized, yeah, mm-hmm. like how metal it is that you like lose these baby teeth or whatever, and there's all this blood and stuff, and then the other ones like growing through. Like mm-hmm. teeth are wild. Yeah, you've seen like, like kid skulls with the like <laughs> rows of teeth yeah. underneath. Yeah, but then we only get to change them once. Sharks just keep growing those fuckers. They do. Over and over. Look, I was weird, and I really love pulling my teeth out. You did. I like this, like the feeling. I overfloss my teeth because I like the feeling too. <laughs> yes, it's like <laughs> my gums are healthy. <laughs> just so saying. anyway, anyway, Kyle, uh, he's a little boy from the town of Point Ferry, as all the flags in his room say, mm. because this is when they shot the movie the first time and it was called something else. Oh. And then they're like, no, we're calling it Darkness Falls and the town is Darkness Falls. So I guess this kid just has flags for some other town in his room. Mm. Why would you want to live somewhere called Darkness Falls? Yeah, that's pretty ominous. Especially there's like, like there's a hell Michigan, isn't there? Uh, especially due to the fact that like you know kids are dying occasionally. Yeah, because he says that. Like, but hey, no, it was Kyle. Even though this has been going, I figured on it was forever. like a dark coast town because they have the light. Either house. way, he's like, hey, you noticed kids gone missing? <laughs> and the guy's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I got a story for that too. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Um, by the way. So this is supposed to be the 80s, I think. Okay. But they have a Toby. It doesn't look like, like Well, they have Ninja no, Turtle like 90s, toys. Yeah. Oh, and okay. Actually, the one Ninja Turtle toy I think I had. But they have a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man toy. And I know it's that because in the commentary, the one producer is like, yeah, I want it to be like a suck up to the studio because Columbia put this out. And he's like, and I kind of knew that movie was going to do really well. So I put a Spider-Man on the set <laughs> to be like a team player. Oh, my God. Um, he loses baby tooth. Mm-hmm. His friend comes over. Emily Browning. Emily yeah. Browning, Emily the ghost ship fine girl. Ass. Wait, not at this point? Or it was fine because I was. Whoa. A Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, hey, we got her. <laughs> we got her. Yeah. I know you thought it'd be the Disney fan, but it was, the, the, it was the other one. I was shocked too. I was shocked. It was the one. Actually, she's real into anime, so it's not that much of a shock. I like anime too. But uh, could you, could you know? All right, you definitely want to put more attention. <laughs> Take both of them. You definitely want to put more attention on the I classes sure one. Um, <laughs> All right. Look, feel free to arrest them, but let me finish the Darkness Falls review first. <laughs> uh, this is new black. But yes, you're gonna brownie. be in a jail cell next to Vito. Anyway, uh, so yeah, she. Why come- are we in prison with Vito? He's technically a woman on his license. <laughs> no, but why is Vito going to jail? <laughs> oh, you should look up the people who hate Vito. Anyway. So, uh, mm-hmm. Emily Browning's there, and she's like, you lost your tooth, ha, mm-hmm. and he's like, oh, can I take you to the dance? Uh, and she's <laughs> smart. She's just like, I assumed you were going to anyway, and I already made arrangements. It's like, mm-hmm. that's fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> Like, but you said she was smart. Is she smart? Yeah, or she's a little too. That's she's a little... clawing through, clawing, climbing through his window. I think it's established that they're kind of like a thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, not a thing yet, because they're about Roger to have- Roger was oh climbing God. through the window on Sister Sister, and they told him to get out every time. <laughs> I would not. Roger. <laughs> uh, so they kiss and then they kiss again because the first time shouldn't taste like blood. First time shouldn't taste like blood. Which that line was so weird. It it's, should taste sweet. Yes, because they were going to call back to it later in the movie. Mm. And, then they, and then they deleted sweet? it. I couldn't tell you what the fuck my first kiss was. I, Dude, mine have, was awkward as fuck. It might have been, it might have been a... <laughs> was it with, no. Oh, okay. I, think, <laughs> I think it was like a seven minutes in heaven situation. I don't even know what girl's oh. name. I got my first kiss when I was like 18. Oh, 16. <laughs> Nerd. Anyway. Um, you ever hear about the 40-year-old virgin? <laughs> so he goes to sleep and he's like, man, I'm a man now. 
<laughs> which I'm sure I said after, <laughs> after I got out of the closet. Put the, put the you got out of the closet the pillow, you know? uh, for seven minutes and a half. Uh huh. <laughs> after I came uh-huh. out, after I came out of the closet as a heterosexual male, very brave, I know. <laughs> um, I didn't understand that transition as a kid. Uh, as an adult, I did, but I was like, oh, I thought that like. She left the room and immediately the shit started. Like I'm mm. like, was she just watching them kiss and waiting to attack? <laughs> <laughs> no, she left the- I didn't realize no, it was like probably hours she's not there yet. Okay, I can't wait to get that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like I said, she leaves and he goes to sleep, and then and then Matilda comes, and it's all this cool shadow stuff. Yeah, and that's what it was just supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And then they went, nah, we're putting the monster everywhere. I'm. S- after listening to the writer's commentary, you know, the third time I watched this in the last 24 hours, uh, it's clear, I think, Jeepers Creepers, they were trying to compete with that a little bit. Mm. Okay. Because they, th- uh, when I get to the scene, the, the filmmakers are like a little bitter and make a fun of that movie, but without naming it. But that's a movie that like- okay, but they could really be like, <laughs> you know what? Maybe we were better off. Yeah. But that's <laughs> a movie where they like show the monster a lot. It's still yeah. scary though. But I guess this one, we're like, you know, we're going to show the monster in the beginning, which usually breaks the rules. Yeah. But I guess they're like, oh, it's wearing a mask, so it's technically not showing it. Uh, but no, this scene is kind of creepy. Where, like you can hear as her an there. adult, no. I couldn't believe it. Like I yep. looked at it again and I was like, I was scared of the Phantom <laughs> of the Opera. I was li- <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sexually attracted to Gerard Butler years later. Bruh. But like, I can't believe I was afraid of You can that. keep your wrinkly side <laughs> of the face. I don't care. <laughs> I don't, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, Good. I, for some reason in my memory, like I didn't remember seeing her at all. It was just the illusion yeah. of her being there. Oh, I remember seeing her. You did. Yeah. yeah, I was like traumatized from that whole scene. I was like, I okay. never. The ending, yes. But... No, this one, this oh, is what fucked wow. me up the beginning. I was like, I need a nightlight for the rest of my life. <laughs> now I'm just like, I'm so used to a nightlight yeah. and I have sleep paralysis. So like, yeah. I can't sleep without a so nightlight he... now. Yeah, so he calls the mom. She shows up and mm-hmm. she's like, whatever. I feel like this is kind of. <sighs> what? So I guess once Matilda is there, anyone yeah. could see her. Yeah. But I thought it was just supposed to be the focused kids, on just the yeah. kid. But they throw that out the window right away. So it's just like, hey, if Matilda happens to be around, you get a glance at her. Yeah. She's going to kill you. Well, his mom was just like cannon fodder. Like she wasn't yeah. supposed but, to. She had to get that tooth. But I honestly, I did. It's people like the opening of this and it's it's effective because I didn't see that coming. Yeah. yeah, me either. That's what shook me as a child. Yeah. She broke the rules. Yeah. They're not so the well, I didn't expect the her to break the. I didn't even think she was even going to be a victim. Yeah, because we've seen that before. The parent checks and nothing's there. And nothing's there. there. Yeah, and she yeah. bodied his mom. No, like, yeah, she bod- oh, no. bodied. She can. She can um, do that. By the way, before she goes in there, she talks to her son, who's now crouched over, because they filmed this scene and then they came back nine months later and he grew mm-hmm. like a foot. <laughs> so yeah. he had to like crouch over because he ended up being taller than her. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she gets murked. Right. Pretty hard. Mm. Uh, I do, like, I, this is a cool shot when the camera is coming out of the the bright room and you yeah. see that see she's her. just hanging yeah. there. Yeah. Now, I think that might have been, people are like, why did they redesign it? Why did they redesign it? Because this looks really cool. It does. Uh, Matilda throughout this movie is like jumping around, climbing on walls, flying around. This was yeah. meant for the version of the script where you wouldn't see the monster till the end. Oh. If you're going to add in the monster everywhere, this is a complicated design to fly to around. To have all over the place. Yeah, and put true. the makeup on the Why? whole time. They could have just had like more robes on her and then she could have lost her robe at the end. I like, don't know. But well, they got Stan Winston to Fun suckers. It. Uh, so I think that's the main reason lost they redesigned it. Yeah, because she had to, <laughs> I mean. Because she had to fly around and everything and climb like Spider-Man. Does she have right. monster titties? Yeah, she does. Didn't you see yeah. them? They're nice and smooth. Yeah. By the way, that's a variant. There's another one with like the mouth open and like the mouth like comes down to there. It's pretty oh, cool. Yeah. That would have been wild. Uh, I do not like elongated features. Yeah. Well, if you see uh, in the original design, they have teeth. They're like made of teeth. They got teeth all over them. Oh, I didn't notice. Yeah. That on their they got arms? teeth on their arms and shit. Oh, man. So, um, robbed. Yeah. I noticed this the next day when the cops are there. Mm. Uh, it looks like Kyle has scratches on his neck. Yeah. But then when he's in the cop car, they just look like red scratch, like like just red marks. Mm. Like did his neck heal over, like in five seconds? That was weird. Yes. Uh, okay, good. It was, uh, it was <laughs> an homage to Spider-Man again. No. <laughs> okay. uh, so now Ghost Ship Girl has grown up Caitlin. Right. From And she's the girl from who Buffy. That actri- That's who she, oh wait, uh, Harmony? I no, it's not Harmony. Um, oh, oh, wait, don't tell me. The, the, the demon. Um, yeah. Oh my I'm God. rewatching Buffy right now. I'll never tell that one. 
The one that was with Xander. I don't fucking know. Anya. 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 Xander? The guy from our Star Wars videos? No. He was like two when Buffy came out. Anyway. Anyanka. Um, Anya. AKA Anya. Yeah. Who got was told she was ugly as a human yeah. by, <laughs> from a demon. Yeah. So her brother is it's being like haunted. Shut the fuck up. Right. Her younger brother is being haunted. We don't know where the parents are. It's kind of confusing. Even though the parents were there at the end scene when he was being put in the car. Yes. Uh, well, this at least was, mom was. This apparently was explained. They did a scene for it to make sense because originally there was a draft where that was her son mm -hmm. and they mm. rewrote it to be the brother, but then they had to explain where the parents went mm -hmm. and they wrote it and they shot it and the studio went, the studio asked for them to explain it. So they did. And the studio went, that's slowing down the movie. Cut it out. So now it's like, what? what is this family unit situation? They couldn't even just make a comment like, oh yeah, ever since mom and dad got into that accident. They apparently did and then they cut it out. <laughs> a two oh, wow. second thing. Yeah. Yeah, because I was wondering like, why is she... Why is she the mom now? I don't what know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say the parents got into a car accident. Yeah, yeah. So then we see Kyle in Vegas. That's funny. He's got to go to a place where there's light constantly. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Uh, and he's got it's like, like Daredevil with the lights yeah. outside his uh, apartment. So he's got like the, the flashlights and all the lights everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, wait, I thought, she, is she just in the town? Can she follow him outside of the town? That's what I was wondering. Has she been Because he's with had him? to have had some close calls at this point, right. if that's the case. But it seems like he hasn't seen her since that night. They right. make a comment, too, when, like, it's, like, near the end of the movie and they're all in the car together. We're like, oh, why can't we just leave town? So, like, maybe you can't? I can. guess it it, it, there's no way he's I gone that long without like there's no way yeah because he's like what tw 20s 30s now also maybe no. it's just a trauma thing yeah but he is played by the late Channy clay oh, uh he, he died I and i looked that. up how he died and it said sleep it said originally Darkness it was considered uh it was uh thought to be sleep apnea and i went shit <gasps> she got him i was like wait no in real life uh, in oh. real life the actor died of sleep apnea <laughs> And I was like, I was like, oh shit, I have that. Am I gonna die? And then there was a follow up. I was like, nah, it turns out it was drugs. I'm like, all right, well, I'm okay. good. Um, Don't some people die from sleep apnea though? Like you can yeah. stop breathing in your sleep. Apparently, yeah. So you might still die from it. I might. <laughs> Jess, if I die before this episode comes out, please put a little date here. In the arms. <laughs> and play in the arms of the angel. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> this is mean. She's like Kyle. Oh, no, no, that's his, yeah. No, Kyle. It's me, Kate. And she goes. You asked me to the dance, but never took me. And your mom died. And he's like, yeah, my mom fucking died. You bitch. What the hell do you want? Yeah, she says it like really, just like passes by it like it's yeah. anything else. Yeah, but she's like, hey, can you come back? Uh, my brother is like turning into a loser like you. And I want to, mm -hmm. can you tell him how not to be a loser? Yeah, that's when she says it. She's like, I remember, you know, when your mom got killed and then just keeps talking. And I'm like, what? yeah, kind of rude to bring up. Right. Um, <laughs> just like that. So he actually goes there because mm -hmm. I guess he's still simping for her. Of course. She's cute. Uh, so he goes there and he goes to talk to the brother. Now, this is. This character of Kyle is kind of all over the place. Yeah. So this scene, it seems like he doesn't believe in the Tooth Fairy. Like he's clearly still scared and traumatized, right. but he's convinced himself that it wasn't real. Well, they do that trope commonly in films yes. where it's like you've gone through so much therapy that maybe yeah, he's not on a lot of drugs. There's that, that but it's because it, when they shot this, the version of the script was that you weren't sure if he was the killer or not. And if he did hallucinate it, mm -hmm. so the thing was, he didn't believe in the tooth fairy. He knows something happened, right? And he, he maybe he's like rationalized. Maybe I thought it was that, but right. clearly that wasn't. So that's why in this scene, he's like, "Nah, tooth fairy's not real." Okay, and then yeah, like, I thought it was kind of assholeish that he was like just flat out lying to this kid. I'm like, you yeah. know, yeah, it's weird. True. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, <laughs> but he's like, "Nah, you saw her too. We're all gonna die." And he's like, oh. "Yeah, how does the boy know he saw her?" That's a good point. Is that like a backup? Scene Does she tell or them? She's like, by the way, if you see a guy named Kyle, I was waiting for him to say like when he was like, "How do you know that?" I was waiting for the kid to be like, "She told me," or something. Maybe maybe he just sees the pain in his eyes. That or something like you know, what was it? The girl from the ring who like touches uh, Naomi and oh yeah, hand and she's like seven yeah. days or yeah. whatever it was. <laughs> So uh, yeah, that's why it's a little Maurice. inconsistent here with she him did just some being Maria like ASMR to the kid. Yeah, <laughs> so it's inconsistent. And then next, uh, he, they meet up with their old friend Larry, right? Who in another version was his cousin. Hmm. 
Uh, and he just kind of shows up because they cut out his actual introduction. Okay. They cut out his, that's why he's just all like, oh, by the way, I'm here. I'm Larry. I'm your old type friend. And I'm dating the girl you like. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. That came, came out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, but I do like that he sees that Kate is like, by the way, it, Larry puts his arm on Kate and she's just, she gives him like that get the fuck off me face. Yeah. She's like, no, my, the man of my dreams just he's came right back to town. Get Don't the fuck away me. from me. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. And he says it to him too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so he's just like, hey, let's let's go grab a drink. Mm. Could you tell this was filmed in Australia? No. Yes, uh, most of the cast is Australian and they got uh, Angus Sampson from the Insidious Mad movies. Mad Max. And Mad Max. He was the organic mechanic. Yep. And I have it here. He's the voice of Goro in that shit Mortal Kombat movie. Our most watched video, by the way. The new Mortal Kombat movie. He's the okay. voice of Goro. It sucks. Don't ever watch it. Okay. Just don't ever fucking watch it. Watch our episode. I mean, the old Mortal Kombat movie wasn't that great either. It, yes. And just imagine how bad this one is. Because oh, this man. one is worse. <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, so he's the only one with the Australian accent. Because I guess they were like... Everyone else is changing their accent. I guess you get to keep it. So did you notice he's like fucking hates Kyle? Yeah. It literally goes from that guy might have killed his mother to I'm going to murder that man. Yeah. And kill him. I hate him with every fiber of my being. Yeah. That's because in that classroom scene like that I mentioned that hurt. they cut out, uh -huh. he got into a fight with young Kyle and Kyle like stabbed him with a compass in the back. Oh. And there's apparently a line where he said he stabbed me in the back and then they were like. Like, like with a woman, he goes, no, literally. Uh, so that's why he has so much rage. Yeah. But then they cut that out. So you now hold on to it for that long, though. Right. Bro, it's already weird. He's dating her. He probably didn't even like her. But, yeah. He probably was <laughs> like, you were Kyle's. <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, I mean, I mean the, the guy who fights him, not Larry. No, I know. Oh, OK. Sorry. Oh, no, I misspoke. <laughs> yes, you misspoke. Fault. You misspoke. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that's why he's like super aggressive and has this resentment. I don't know if he goes around yelling at other people who might have committed crimes. Yeah. Uh, because that bothered when I was watching it the first time, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy's deal? Yeah. Don't question murderer, like attempted murderers. Just go about your business, ignore mm. them, like blah, 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 blah. Um, he goes to fight him outside because he, he scares him out of the bar and that's not enough for him. Yeah. Now he has to tackle him in the woods. Right. And I guess Matilda was just waiting outside the bar. Hey, hey, <laughs> he's coming. Hey, hey. She's climbing a tree. Do you think she climbed trees in life as an elder? Yes. <laughs> it's her favorite activity. But uh, Besides collecting teeth yeah. of children. Uh, speaking of teeth, they, because this was cut down to PG-13, originally he like punched him way more times in the face. Oh, did he? Because yeah. I thought the amount of times he punched him in the woods was too much. <laughs> yeah. It was going to be more. Okay. It was going to be more. Yeah. So then he killed him. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, he runs away and then the guy's just, and again, I didn't expect this guy to die either. That is my woods. Because again, I was confused. Uh. Oh yeah, I should have when he said that, but I was still confused by the rules. I'm like, wait, don't you? have to see them as a kid. What's going on with the rules? And then I realized like, oh, if you're just around. It doesn't matter as long as you, yeah. Yeah, not yeah. even eye contact, just around like you said. Yeah. Because if you are around, she's gonna, like, I'm gonna make you look at me and then mm. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's not avoiding their game. She really wants attention. Yeah. <laughs> um, But yeah, he gets killed. Yeah. Uh, do you I, think when he said this is my woods that Matilda was like, you motherfucker, and then, <laughs> it's my woods, and then she killed him? You think that's why? Uh, yeah. She's just like, oh, really? Really? Also, like, that could have been her chance to, to get him, mm -hmm. but she's, like, watching the fight from the top of a tree. Yeah, yeah. she got both of them. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Like, yeah. Yeah. And let's see how this goes. He's already seen you. You could just snap, and he's, like, on top of him. Honestly, she could grab... Kyle. She could grab both. Which would then make the other dude Look, see her and she yeah. can come back for the other no, dude. No, she wanted to see where that fight was going to go. She's having yeah. fun. Yeah. Uh, and I got more information on that death when we get to the interrogation scene. Okay. Uh, Sullivan Stapleton shows up. He's the guy from Blind Spot. Remember that show Blind Spot? Nope. The girl from Thor. She had all the tattoos. Nope. I watched the first two seasons. They were really good. And then I fell off. But he's the main guy in that. He was also the hero in 300 Rise of an Empire. God, I, okay. The one with Eva the, Green. The sequel? Okay. So hot. God, she's a fucking babe in that so movie. So fucking hot. That movie's not good. She was a babe What's in that, that movie. other one? Wait, is this the original? Was the original Rise of an Empire? Was no, that no. The original was oh, okay. just 300. The this is the sequel they did. Okay. I was Remember like sure. 2014, they did sequels to two Frank Miller movies, The Sin City 2 and mm -hmm. 300 2, and it's just like too late. 
Yeah. <laughs> you missed the window on that. I, I was cool with the Sin City sequel. I, I didn't see that. I still haven't seen it. Okay. I saw 300 too, and I was like, eh, whatever. Okay. No. Yeah, but then I like looking at her. It's like, oh, was that uh, Kingdom of Heaven? Was mm -hmm. that the movie that she was in? I don't know. Or it's just like her eyes the entire time, and I'm like, you're a babe. We have a copy of The Dreamer. She's pretty nude in that, if you want to borrow that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, Sullivan Stapleton, this is like an early role of his. Mm -hmm. uh, he's like the sheriff dude. He's Australian doing an American accent. Right? Everyone's literally only the two leads, I think, are the only Americans in the movie. Okay. And everyone else is Australian or for some other weird place. Australia. Is Matilda um, Australian? It, well, yeah. But did you not hear her famous quote where she's like, Crikey! <laughs> Shrimp on the butt! <laughs> Shrimp on the Barbie! <laughs> <laughs> That's how she sounds. <laughs> uh, by the way, could you tell that this was made after Scream with all its witty dialogue? No. I bet you this guy was glad he finally got to write a Scream I didn't movie. think it was that witty. Yeah, it's weird because he's just like, Hey buddy, this, uh, this whole splitting up thing's kind of stupid, huh? Which is like a trope now to make fun of things yeah. like that, which this is definitely after Scream. And the writer's trying to justify it. He's just like, yeah, you know, I was trying to add all this stuff. It's like, but it's not filmed to be like a horror comedy. Mm -hmm. So those lines are just weird. Yeah. Like it wouldn't make sense in Scream. Yeah. Like that line makes sense there. But here it's just, they try it a couple times and it never quite lands. They do it with the black cat later on. Yeah. And it's just like, okay. Carson? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, sh shut up. Shut up. Oh yeah, this is my favorite. Uh, wow. Caitlin is looking at a book about the Tooth Fairy legend, which I guess is based off Matilda Dixon, because it tells you how to kill the Tooth Fairy. Her last name is Dixon? Yeah, isn't it? Matilda Dixon? I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the book literally tells you how to kill her. It's like, put a lot of light on her and I'll kill her. But then the drawing in the book. How do they know that though? If she's I don't know, alive. I don't know. But she's looking at the drawing in the book of like the tooth fairy on fire. But like the design is the original design in the shadow. Oh, <laughs> it's like, oops. Okay. Um, yeah, that book was weird. I don't know why they included that. Because it's not like she remembers later. It just kind of happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Kyle, he's just like, hey, uh, I just realized the tooth fairy is real and I'm not crazy. Don't mm -hmm. don't give your brother any tests. Right. Because uh, they wanted to put him in that. Yeah. And then immediately the cops are like, you're one of for murder. And he's yeah. just like, oh, don't worry about them. Make sure to follow my advice. And uh, she like is really into doing that though, which is really weird. Yeah. Yeah. She's, She's like, yes, seen I him will in trust years. You with my brother's life, man, that has just walked back. <laughs> yeah, <here."> like, <laughs> who's currently being taken away right, for, for murder, murder. <laughs> for the second time. No. Yeah. So, um, so at the police station, Mm -hmm. uh, you might see some shots of like a crying woman in the background. That's the dead guy's wife. She was going to have a oh. scene where she tried to like fight Kyle. Um, but yeah, they bring him into interrogation mm. and they show him like the pictures of the dead guy. And it's like, whatever. Right. When it was rated R, the thing Matilda, as you saw in the short film, mm -hmm. Matilda would like rip body parts out of you. Oh. Like she did in the short film with like the eyes mm -hmm. being cut out. See, that's like, cooler. They should have did that. Yeah, it, originally that guy's jaw yeah. was going to be ripped off. Like she oh. rips your jaw off and like takes your teeth. I and... didn't like when they did that in The Grudge. That <laughs> freaked me the hell out. <laughs> but like, yeah, The Grudge. Uh, but yeah, no, so it's it was supposed to be this super violent thing and then they went PG-13. Oh. <laughs> then they went PG-13. It's like, well, we got to add insert shots. It's like, oh, he's got some scratches on his face. Oh, <laughs> like that doesn't seem as threatening. It was now. a mountain lion attack. Yeah. And for some reason, they kept, like, they only hint that Matilda is, like, a problem in the town. Right. There were going to be more dialogue here where he's just, like, uh, or he tells, like, the sheriff. He kind of does it later to his son. But he points out, he's like, yeah, I bet you probably have, like, a lot of unsolved stuff. And the guy's like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. But they kind of just dance around it and they cut out all that stuff for some yeah, reason. Yeah, kids are going missing. Because, yeah, because uh, even the writers. Regularly. Writer, it's funny. The writers, they're like, yeah, we, we shot and everything. We were told to cut it out. And then all the reviews are like, wouldn't this be, like, a bigger known thing in the yeah, town? Yeah, <laughs> especially if, like, the parents are recanting, sorry, yeah. recanting their story. And they're like, oh, well, I just, you know, told him to put his last tooth under his pillow. Yeah. Hmm. And it's like, it's like a thing where like, is it like Freddy Krueger or Pennywise where the town's kind of in on it, but they're kind of ignoring yeah. it? That's yeah. not like what I got out of this No, at it seems all. like no one really believes it. No. It's kind of like no. a low key thing. Uh, a lot so, of coincidences. Yeah. So the doctor tells Caitlin, we're going to put him in a sensory deprivation Child abuse. chamber. Yeah, he'll get over it. Yeah. <laughs> to face his fears, to finally get over it. And yeah. as I've said many, many times in this show. I have a fear of eye injuries and being stabbed in the eye. And I've lived Hear those. Me out. Those fears have come true. Oh, okay. 
I poke myself in the eye, and it turns out I have a condition in my eye where my cells don't heal. I've mentioned this many, many times. Uh, so I've had multiple surgeries in my eyes in the last few years where they had to go in with razors and cut it up so it would heal a different way. So I've lived my worst fear multiple so your times. fear is, oh no. Yeah, and guess what? When you face your fear, you're more afraid of it. Oh, uh, so this is like the worst thing that they could do to the kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they keep saying sensory deprivation. Yeah. It's a fucking MRI machine. It's an yeah. MRI. <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, Larry gets out of, Larry gets Kyle out of jail. Mm -hmm. Skip it. He buys he buys a bunch of flashlights and then makes a point to steal a gun. Mm -hmm. That was supposed to come up in a different scene later, right. but anyway. So yeah, the sensory deprivation is just an MRI. Right. Because in the previous <laughs> version of the script, it was an MRI. Uh, they were like, we're going to scan his brain and look for like irregu irregularities and whatnot. They could have left that in. It wouldn't have changed anything. Yeah, but instead they're like, it's sensory deprivation, but like me, I've been in many MRIs, even as a kid, and I'm like, that's not. You could still hear everything. And I'm like, going that's not on. sensory deprivation. That's an MRI. Like, I remember yeah. being confused. Like, no, nah, I've been in that. It's not that dark in there. No, no they purposely it's dark turned over the light. Yeah, but you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's the weird thing. So they changed it in post that's to be weird. sensory deprivation. Okay. But then they left in putting the dye in his blood. Yeah. And it's like, well, wait. It's for what? Yeah, for the sensory depth, you don't need to do that. <laughs> they could have made a nice little comment being like, oh, it's a sedative so he doesn't hurt himself. A sedative would make I mean? sense, yeah. yeah. I wanted more from that too. Not to say I want to see children get harmed. Yeah. But like I did want there, like for him to have gone into the bottom of ma the machine. That, it, it, some sort of scratch mark that or was something. That was kind of creepy as he's being lowered yeah, in. Yeah, I was you waiting for voice. something. To, yeah, she's like doing her. Which they had ASMR. Yeah. I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too. Which I read. Okay, so I this read. Like, what bitch. The was that? So I read this fact. They didn't mention it in the commentary tracks, but I no, read. Wait, wait. When he went in there, how come she didn't grab him? He was only he was this close. Yeah. Like, she had a lot of she time to just grab him. Does his, his eyes have yeah. to go under? Does his whole know. body need to be in the darkest? I don't because know. apparently not. Um, She's all about timing. But yeah. So <laughs> I read this fact, but I didn't confirm it. But apparently, her screams are like recordings of like actual elderly women in pain. But I, it, the commentary tracks didn't confirm that, so I don't know. Skywalker sound did the sound for this, and it actually sounds pretty good. You want to hear a fun story about elderly women in pain? No! Uh, so recently, I visited my grandmother in the hospital. Uh, she was I'm having sorry. some issues. I'm not laughing at your... Oh, my... Well, here's the thing. All right. So bad. So I... Wa I don't know if you're oh, crying. No. <laughs> <laughs> they just recorded. I don't know if it's true. It's what I read. It's what I read. Are you crying for real? Why? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm crying. <laughs> Well, here's the story. Here's a fun okay. story recently. Okay, okay. My grandmother got sick recently. Okay. Uh, and she had to go to the hospital. She's fine now. She's in rehab now. Okay. Uh, and I walked in. I heard she was doing well, and I decided to be funny. Mm. And I walked in. I'm like, hey, stop dying. You're making everyone sad. And she thought it was funny. We were all laughing. And then 10 minutes later, she's like, I don't feel too <laughs> good. And I went, oh, no. Oh, no. She was fine. She was fine. They gave her fluids. She was fine. <laughs> But as we were talking, there was another wo woman in the uh, same area. And she just, whenever she wanted attention from the doctor, she would scream. And my grandmother and all the nurses are like, my grandmother is like, they've told her to click the button like 18 times. They keep telling her, if you need us, click the button. And she refuses to. So literally, we're like talking. And I'm like, yeah, and so uh, blah, 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 blah. And we just hear, ah! And you hear the doctor and nurse like, like, man, please, the button, hit the button and we will come for you. Can we pause? I, didn't, I can't see. I didn't, I didn't know that was going to, yeah, we'll pause here. Fix your eye. I didn't know that was going to break you that much. It's probably not even real. It's probably not even real. It's so funny. It's fucked up. I was not expecting real tears. So now that we're done laughing at elderly women's pain, uh, <laughs> what's it called? Uh, Larry's sad. Mm. While, the, while, he's being, while the kid's being put in the sensory deprivation right. chamber, Larry is driving Kyle out of town. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you're cucking me. 
He's like, I finally got this chick to be into me <laughs> and settle for me. Yeah. And then you come rolling back Harry, in. And you come back, yeah. For some reason, she's still into you, even though she hasn't seen you since you were a child. So right. it's actually kind of problematic what she's thinking of. That blood. Oh, my God. She's like, he's like, so I need you <laughs> out of here, my cousin, maybe, depending which script we're on. <laughs> Wait, my cousin? Because I thought he said later that he was like his lawyer. Or he, well, he's his lawyer now, but I said in the, earlier in a previous version of the script, he, they he were cousins. He was his cousin. Okay. So originally in the version of the script when it was, is Kyle crazy? Is mm -hmm. he imagining it? Mm -hmm. This would have been the scene where like the tooth fairy, he finds out the tooth fairy is real when his... When his friend just gets ripped out of the just car. Just gets murdered, yeah. Oh, no, 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 ripped out of the car. They hit a tree. Mm. Kyle goes through the windshield. How is he alive? Yeah. Forget yeah. alive. How is he walking Ooh. around without a scratch on him? Not one scratch. It's the Mountain Dew. Not one scratch. Meanwhile, I'm watching the movie, slicing pepperoni and cutting myself. This guy goes through a fucking windshield. <laughs> of course you'd be eating pepperoni. <laughs> My dad brought me pepperoni. That's very Italian. <laughs> yeah, you know? right? like, that is like the most stereotypical thing. Uh, he gets launched through the windshield. Mm. And then Larry gets eaten by the tooth He's fairy. He's like, don't look at her. And Larry's like, oh. Yeah, he literally goes, don't look at her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we used to do a show about Godzilla. And it was always like, there's a monster attacking. And people would be like, well, we got to go check it out. It's like, no. I mean, that's real life, though. If someone was like, there is a giant. Yeah. Uh, lizard outside. I'd be like, I want to get away, but where can we get a safe distance that I can see what's going on? No, no, but that's not what they do in those movies. They no, just they go run. up close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so Kyle in this scene, this was supposed to be where the gun paid off. Instead, he like holds Larry up with the gun that causes the crash. So originally, there was gonna be like an actiony well, scene here. Matilda caused the crash. Oh yeah. Well, he pulls the gun out before the crash is what I meant. But Matilda caused. Matilda the crash. caused the crash. Bitch. Uh, but he said, "Stop victim blaming." So blaming. originally, originally he was gonna shoot holes at Matilda oh, okay. through the ceiling and realize that bullets don't work. But then he was gonna put like a flashlight to scare her away through the holes, okay. and then they cut that out. Imagine like bullets. You're like immune to bullets, but someone shines their iPhone light on you, and you're like, I don't know. <laughs> was that part of her curse? I'm gonna come back with magic powers and eat your kids, but no, light, light's I, still like, gonna hurt me. I was wondering that last night, and I guess it, I'm like, it's I guess the Freddy Krueger effect where yeah. it's like she died by fire, so now she's like, eh. no, she didn't die by fire. Oh, did they? Was she hung? On fire? Yeah, she was injured oh, by fire. <laughs> oh, right, the fire is what made her yeah. face like. Oh, well, but maybe was, that's what she was always. Yeah. Her. No, she was always sensitive to light after that, apparently, yeah. and that's why she like like the kids and the others, the old woman. Oh my god, that movie. We have a review for it. Check it out. Um, didn't we? Didn't we? Didn't it turn out we were dead at the end of that review? Anyway, um, <laughs> we've died so many times. So, <laughs> what you got? Kyle shows up at the hospital, and does he have the gun here? No. Okay. Apparently, there was a version where he comes he, in with the gun. He's like, "Get the kid out of there!" I watched. He just walked in and said, "Get yeah. him out." Yeah, there was and a version where he comes in with the gun. He's like, "Get that kid out of there!" And like, you know what? Oh, it, it's like he's more stable in this version of the movie we're doing. Yeah. Let's not use the gun. But yeah, I thought he's like, he had it again, though, at some point when they were mo maneuvering through the maybe. hospital. But yeah, he's like, get that kid out of that MRI sensory deprivation tank. Right. Uh, get him out of there. Uh, and again, Kate's just like, I trust you with every fiber of my being. And then the cops. With my life and my brother. And then the cops come up. They're like, he might have killed your boyfriend. We got to get him. And she's like, still trust him. Yeah. <laughs> still trust yeah. him. He even tells a joke. I guess he's definitely not his cousin in this version. He's like. Well, where's your lawyer? And he's like, probably dead. He's yeah, dead. Yeah, he says it. So your lawyer get you out of this one, Kyle. Yeah, that's going to be kind of tough since my lawyer's in a couple of pieces on Pontus Avenue. He's literally dead. And the dude's like, is that a confession? Like, yeah. what the fuck? And dude? then he tells the cop, he's just like, look, uh, the tooth fairy's real. Yeah. Uh, she's hunting me. Uh, you probably have a lot of unsolved murders. You should look into that. And mm. then the cop goes, nah. <laughs> I'm not going to look into that. Yeah. As a matter of fact, there's a scene coming up where it'll look like I'm about to look into that and I'm not going to look into that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, there's a convenient time for a blackout. Mm. Right. There's no reason for the blackout. Is it like town wide though? Yes. Okay. Because they show that sh wide shot of like everything going so on. So why is she wasting your time on them? She could just be killing a bunch of like well, I guess people no that just don't I guess know no one's on. lost their baby tooth recently. So Neither are also, they. Also, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, they originally had different Just ideas. They were like, and she wants them. The one was like, She's like it you was can't a, get away from me this time, bitch. Yeah. So the, the original idea was like, it was a scheduled blackout because it's like a resort town. So okay. it's off season. To, so her, I thought it had something to do with her. Now, mm-hmm. Well, so to conserve energy, they were going to do the scheduled energy. energy. They were going <laughs> to do this, this uh, controlled blackout because okay. they were based in the town. Kind of. Like, I thought it was from a storm. Well, that again, there was another version where Matilda was going to like, throw something into a power plant and destroy all the lights or whatever. Okay. And then that didn't happen. Instead, it's a storm how that's actually, how the storm's actually works. not that bad. Why but, is she able to just chill in lightning? I told you, lightning is it's evil light. light. It's light. It's, oh, it's evil That's light. the devil's light. <laughs> <laughs> also, why is she, or is it just convenience? Is she able to like control like, Flashlights, because it seems like lights and things flicker to her convenience. Um, is she doing that, or is she, it just like all of their technology shitty? No, no, no. They have so many jokes about in the commentary track how like okay. all the batteries die. Okay, uh, so it's just shitty. Technology. Apparently, I don't know if this is a joke, but they said the one flashlight company, Maglite or whatever, they like wrote them a letter. They're like, "You made our lights look really bad. <laughs> our lights are really good." Oh, I guess. It, oh. Um, it's just plot convenience. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the cop goes into the records room and he looks at the unsolved mysteries and mm-hmm. he's like, I probably don't need to look into that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he was supposed to see the records of like all these kids who were missing. Is that why he came back? Yeah. And okay. then uh, he almost shoots a dog, apparently. Mm-hmm. It's a good fake out. Matilda attacks the whole police station like Jeepers Creepers. Right. It's kind of like Jeepers Creepers. And they actually even say like they're kind of like. In the commentary, they're bragging about how their scene is better and makes more sense, but they won't name Jeepers Creepers. They're like, like that other movie. Uh, But it actually is kind of clever. I didn't realize it the first time. Mm -hmm. She is drawing the cop's gunfire to the lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So she's grabbing people. He says it. He says it. Yeah, he says she's making you shoot the lights. Yeah, I didn't realize that at first. I thought she was just like, ah, and like grabbing all of them. They get out of there. It does seem very like sporadic. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 Wait, so question though. So when he's in like the uh, cell, mm. um, he's like freaking out trying to help them, but he doesn't seem too concerned about her getting him because he's in the cell, even yeah. though it's dark. So if she couldn't, if she couldn't get to him in the cell, how was she just going to magically appear inside of the MRI or sensory deprivation? I think plot. she can travel through shadows. Plot. Then why wasn't he concerned? Literally, I guarantee it's just bullshit. Plot. He was just helping the cops because she could have just materialized in there, murdered him, and left the cops the fuck alone. Well, they, they had a light on him. Kara, there's a lot oh. of things that we should be nitpicking. You know what he should have done? <laughs> you know, know what she should have done? Like in uh, Sleepy Hollow when the Headless Horseman can't go in the church, so mm. he makes a harpoon. Oh my God, that was She should have done that. She should have got like a harpoon. Like, yeah, oh, what a good movie. <laughs> that was such a good oh. movie. That is a good movie. Yeah. We should go to the real Sleepy Hollow. I'd love to. I would too. It's driving distance. I wanted to go last year, but I had a panic attack. Be- because of... Sleepy Hollow? No, because I oh. have anxiety and there were too many people around. Oh. <laughs> we were in Massachusetts and I was like, ah, I mean, yes, yeah, so I'm like, let's go. And, and then I got paranoid and stuff. So we left. <laughs> I thought you were afraid of the actual headless horseman. No, I just don't like people. You know what? You know what? We're going to try something here. Kira, are you attracted to the Christopher Walken headless horseman? Can we continue with the movie? I discussion? fucking knew it. Please. I knew it. Any like weird guy <laughs> in a movie, I knew it. <laughs> so anyway. So he makes fun of me for being a monster fucker too. So <laughs> are you? I am. I, I love it. Uh the cop shoots her mask. Right. And like cracks it. Right. Uh, and then he gets the flashlight. He's like, let's get out of here. We gotta mm-hmm. go to the fucking hospital or whatever. There's actually one cool moment in the hospital in the cop place. Police station. That's the name cop of it. Police. <laughs> you know, my dad, he was a, so a cop quick. man. And oh, he yeah. used to work at the cop place. Okay. <laughs> uh, I like when his flashlight. Like, blue go- people? Huh? He was a blue people? Yes. I like when his flashlight goes out in the police station. And you just hear like sounds for 10 seconds. I'm like, I kind of like that. Damn it. Yeah, that was I would good. have liked to have seen a version of the movie where it was mostly just audio and shadows, and not this goofy that's shit. That's the way I. Well, that's what I was saying. That's how I remembered it from my childhood. No, and then, then you I rewatch it, it and you're and like, I oh, that like, goofy chick is all over yeah, the place. Yeah, did you see her face a bunch of times? <laughs> Going, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I have it here. Like, I wish they did that more. Instead, they got this girl running around, uh, and it's funny because 
again, it wasn't there on set. Right. So most of it is like close-ups filmed later or they like green screen and CGI her in. They didn't in. have to do that. Just the yeah. like, just the, without the visuals, just that uh, pictureless horror was enough yeah. for me. Yeah. 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 This reminds me a lot of Malignant. I still haven't seen it. It is the most campiest, ridiculous thing ever. It's so I, bad, but I, already, I was in tears because I love it so much because it's so ridiculous. I already yeah, know like, the twist. I already know the twist and stuff, and it's reminding me of other movies I like, like I Basket wait, Case, Brain Dead. After rewatching this and then thinking of Malignant, I'm like, I wonder if they were like, huh? I'm gonna <laughs> give it a, a good shot. Idea. I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> please, okay. please watch um, it. It's so bad, but it's so good. <laughs> let's, let's do a watch party. So, so they get on the elevator <gasps> to get away. My porg. What is that now? What did you do? She dropped something important. Here it is. It's here. She dropped something pointy. Oh, I, I have a... Well, this is going well. Are, are you ready? You I'm good? figure out how to fix this. This is sterling silver. This is real. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. I have the wing. It's just the wing. Like, the wing fell off. From the okay. necklace? Yeah. Like, Stop playing it? with it! Huh. Yeah, glue that baby back on. Anyway. I can't glue it. I need a screw. Oh. Uh, so, yes. Uh... Kate and her brother, they're running around the hospital. They're avoiding Matilda. They get in the elevator, which has power, but the hospital is running out of power. So right. the elevator is only kind of working. Right. Which in emergencies, there's signs all around the elevator that say, don't use this shit. Use the stairs. They made fun of that in the track. Yeah, I was gonna they're, say they're, it. they're joking about it. They're, like, they're being real sarcastic. They're like, everyone knows you always use an elevator in an emergency. <laughs> and also like if... The elevator is running. That means there's a generator working somewhere. So why are all the lights off? It's running out of power. I don't know. Well, oh, shit. I never circled yeah, most back. Hospitals have. Generators. I never yeah. circled back to the cat. So the cat that jumps on her car, that was like there was like a whole like sub thing about a nurse that takes care of all the feral cats, and then they like find her body with all the cats over her, and then they disappear, and they realize she's dead. They cut that out. Um, so yeah, I like the doctors what? get him out of the uh, elevator, but the one doc, they all, the doctor and the nurse, they see Matilda. She's like, ah, uh, <laughs> with the fl I like the flare. Yeah. Why did they use the flare more often? Just like fucking throw that thing in her face. It was so like now really they're all fun the whole time throughout the hospital for him to be like, stay out of the shadows. And then, you know, hospital staff immediately going into the shadows and her like yeah. knocking the fuck out. I do like the they shadows. add that line of dialogue. They're like, what about all the people in the hospital? He's like, they didn't see her. You assume. <laughs> I like the two staff members, whatever, who are like, oh shit, like this is terrifying. And then the one lady who comes out of nowhere and opens the door and she's just like, call the cops and arrest him. It's all because of him. And it's just like, bitch, what? Yeah. So they, uh, they and then they're like, the cops are dead. <laughs> What's he doing here? I'm calling the police. The police are dead. All of them? Pretty much. So they have to go down a little hallway with just one she flashlight. Does say that. I forgot. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, he's like, all the cops are dead. All, all the of cops them. are dead. And he's, they're like, all of them? He's like, most likely. And they're like, was it Jeepers Creepers? They're like, them. nah, it's a different monster. <laughs> oh different monster. God. Uh, but yeah, they have the whole like the light in the hallway where they're like inching. That should have went on a little bit longer. But they... oh my god, it was so much longer because that was so cool. Yeah, it's, I like the one girl's just like I'm just gonna run it. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, but Matilda like, doesn't grab out her. The shadows and she. Like... Matilda is grabbing everyone. This woman, she just like slaps against That's the wall. That's what I mean. She's just fucking with them. Yeah, the hospital staff. She's like, I'm yeah. just going to bully you. I'm yeah, not gonna uh, really murder you. I love the the scene with the stairs where they have to jump into the and light. She snatches one yeah, away. She just that comes up and wild. grabs. She's always grabbing and bringing them to like a dark abyss. Yeah, like, they just disappear. <laughs> you never see blood or anything. No. Uh, yeah, I do like every time they jump down the steps and grabs another one. Yeah. Uh, they get out of there because Hero Cop shows up, blasting the headlights. Yeah. Matilda's like, ah. And my favorite part happens. Which part's that? The doctor. He's like. We're gonna be safe in here, and she immediately gets him out of the car. We're safe in the car. <laughs> she just yanks him out. Uh, they, they Why didn't they have a light on in the car? Yeah. That's a good point. Like, Why weren't his sirens on? Right. <laughs> They're oh like, oh, she's God. attacking the sirens. And it's like, you probably should have had those on. Is this like back in the past when like, it was like really bad if you had your light on, like you would be, like whoever's driving wouldn't be able to see. And right, we're like, all going to die. It turns out that's not true. Yeah, I know. Yes, I remember my parents, parents being all like, like yeah. Us. Yeah. I've had that light on and I was driving just fine. Like, I guess it like fucks the rear view mirror up a little bit, but not. Not that like much. that. I don't know, but now I turn the light on and just wait because I want to start that argument with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> None of them have addressed it because they know I'm on my bullshit all the time. Um, so they decide to go to the lighthouse for safety. Right. 
My I mean, favorite part. I remember. I mean, I don't know if they know anything yeah. about lighthouse uh, maintenance and whatnot, but right. uh, they seem pretty confident. I think this actually, even if they didn't do it at the hospital, like I think the light because they're fucking tall. Mm. The lighthouse scene should have gone on way long. That would have been the perfect. Place yeah, for her there should have be been like a longer climax yeah. with the lighthouse. That would have been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they get there and they're just like, oh man, it's it's like all broke up. We got to fix it. We got to fix the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. uh, so they pour gas in the generator, but then it doesn't work. So mm -hmm. then they have to go all the way back down and fix it. And uh, Hero Cop, he bites the dust. Yeah. And gets pulled out. Ripperoni. Yeah. Or does he? Because that guy at the end kind of looks like him, but we'll get to that. Mm. Uh, and also, like, there's like a leak with the gas. And I thought that was going to pay off a little bit better, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really. Yeah. It just kind of lights on fire and makes a bright light. Yeah, it's sort there. of. I do love, uh, and I wish this was a little longer, what? where like uh, the girl and the brother are up there and you see Matilda like floating outside the window. I'm like, yeah. that's actually a cool shot. That it would've, was. It would have yeah. been cool if they did like a whole 360 thing. Of yeah. Them, and they're like, nah, we're goofy. So she's going to start shattering the windows. Yeah. Like an asshole. Um, <laughs> and I no like one got any cuts. Huh? No one, no got one, got, no one gets any oh, cuts yeah. in this. Because I'm just saying, again, nephew, you'll get cut watching it, but you, <laughs> no one gets. No, cut I'm just saying, shattering like, glass. Like my nephew dropped a candle and the shattering, whatever. It got like little shards in my leg. Yeah. yeah. Even the most, even the smallest ones, you get something. Uh, I like oh. to throw a lantern at her. Oh my god, <laughs> right? It's a Coleman's face. lantern, you bitch. Uh, and the kid Matt heroically turns on the light. That burns Matilda and she's Oh, gone. right, because they're begging him. They're yeah. like, turn on the light. And yeah. He's like, ah. Uh, they, it turns on the light and she's gone. I mean, they keep cutting to like a flap of fabric that's on yeah, the ceiling for weird. no Why reason. Yeah, it's weird. Why did she disintegrate if she wasn't dead? No, I think she just put on a show and then hung yeah. in uh, hung Okay, so who fabric. does that, though? What monster is like, ah, I'm going to pretend to die. She's dramatic. All of them? True. Like, she every was, slasher and she film? Was doing but it also, smart. yeah, this entire movie. Like, I'm just going to watch yeah. it from over here yeah, and see yeah, what yeah. you do. So she grabs uh, Kyle. Yeah. Even though the, the lantern's still kind of on, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, lightning flashing. Yeah. Like, multiple uh, times, like, in a row. He finally knocks her... Mask off. Porcelain mask. And she looks horrifying. For a PG 13. teeth fall? Yeah, like, I guess yeah, she so was keeping them under her mask. mask. Yeah. I think the mask was made of the teeth, is what we're meant to believe. That, no. It was um, too smooth. Yeah. Well, she's got magic. Like, if that was, like, lumpy, I'd, they should have done that. So, like, take that idea. A teeth that. mask? That, that would have been horrifying. Yeah. That would have been the film. Uh, Ooh. But yeah. Oh, they, fu Ooh, they <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> they fucked up. By the way, the whole, there would have been a kiss here. Between whenever, who? Whenever him they, and Matilda? No, no, him and the girl. When everything, when they thought everything was safe, there was supposed to be a kiss where they mentioned the blood thing again. Oh. Anyway, uh, so he's grabbed by her, and Matilda keeps getting hit by the light and screaming. And it's like, well, you got him. Go fly out the window. Fly out. What's holding her there? Nothing. He's not holding her there. Literally, nothing's. It's plot. It's. Yeah, yeah, it's so stupid, but there. then that's not enough because then he kicks the the light. It lights on fire. He lights his arm on you fire. You know what? It does a flame punch. He flame punches her. Maybe we're looking at this wrong. Maybe he is also a monster fucker. And maybe that is why that the kiss should have been shared with them. Maybe that's what was holding her there. You know, maybe she was like Loki. My a groomer, right? And she, oh God, no, that movie. Uh, Brothers Grimm. But maybe she low key was like, I've been watching you for years. You've become a handsome young man. <laughs> you finally came back to me. Right. And now you want this bitch again that I watched you in the corner of the room with? Did you share that disgusting bloody kiss with? So <laughs> it's funny. This almost had a tragic ending, like a Did bittersweet it? ending. <gasps> so, that would have been better. Would've so been. in the original version where you had to look at her yeah. for her to kill you. Yeah. Uh, so apparently, like, she hadn't killed anyone because she was waiting for him because she wanted to kill him. Uh, <laughs> and the, so the whole thing was the light was going to, like, get all bright and everything. Mm -hmm. And she was going to disappear. And the girl was going to be like, do you think it's over? And the guy was going to be like, yes, it's over. And she's like, how do you know? And he goes, because I'm blind. Because the light, the, the lighthouse was going to blind Why him. Why does that sound? They That never aired, did it? No, that because at that point really they familiar, cha they though. changed the rule afterwards. Okay, but that's how it was going to end, where he like blinds. No, it's like we get. I see you, you bitch. I see ah! you, bitch. He flame did punch. Say that, yeah. I see you, bitch. He should have done like a Hadouken, <laughs> Shadouken. Ah. 
Maybe like a Liu Kang, like, ah! Yeah. Kamehameha. It doesn't end with like, like Kamehameha. <laughs> he does, it's not like some supernatural defeat. He just Chris Browns her. <laughs> So then afterwards, bro, I'm sorry, <laughs> bro, that's a dated, that in. no, you know what? That's, that's not, not cool. no, that's not even edgy or offensive. That's just very dated. That's a very what, dated. Chris Brown? So is this movie. What is this? 2009? No one's making Chris this Brown. This is 2016. <laughs> Toby Maguire ain't Spider-Man anymore. No, he is again. Did you see oh, the news wait. one? <laughs> so sometime uh, later, I was so confused. All right. So the family at the end, I thought the dad was the cop. The what? The dad at the very end, the family at the end, but the uh -huh. kid who's losing his tooth. For a minute, I thought the dad was the cop from throughout the movie. No. And I'm like, he shouldn't be treating this as a joke. He should be putting lights all over there. I'm like, oh, it's just another white guy who looks just like him, I guess. Yeah, no, I don't think it was. I was so Or confused. it wasn't supposed to. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it was. But this is weird because then they kind of set you up like, oh, is she still around? Then it's like, nah, here's a quarter. Bye. But apparently it was going to end with like you hear Matilda growling and whatnot. And they just we didn't... did hear something, but then it was like fake. because we Yeah, it was that, fake. Yeah. <sighs> or whatever. I yeah. thought that was weird. Yeah. That was weird. It yeah. was just his mom like. Yeah. This ending was just very abrupt and just weird. Yeah. I think the reason they put it in is because that boy was the runner up to be in this movie. Okay. And I think they, they liked his audition. They felt bad. So then they made this we'll scene for him. We'll just pop you in the end. Huh? We'll just pop you in yeah, the I'll end. I'll just throw you in the end. Oh my God. Uh, so yeah, kind of weak. Now. I thought this was a forgettable horror flick. You thought not, it was forgettable? Not super forgettable. I do remember a lot about it, but I never wanted to like revisit re it. it. Yeah. I didn't want to rewatch it because it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I will say, because it is PG-13 and it's goofy and whatnot, I thought at the time it was a good gateway horror. This is like, you could like, I'd show like my goddaughters this or what. Well, my what? no, my goddaughter. I'm showing her way cooler stuff now. I'm showing her like How the Halloween. She? She's watching the final destination. She's 13. She's watching okay. Final Destination now. She's she's cool with all this stuff. Okay. But anyone well, else? She's thirteen. That's how old we were when we first saw no. this. Show this to her and see if she gets traumatized. So like, like too. your nephews. This would be a maybe not your nephews, but in the oh my god, my older one would literally just like never sleep again. She's five. He's a wimp. Don't even yeah. <laughs> don't even try. I see where you're going. You with could it. show a kid this. No, I a can't. teenager. Oh, okay. Teenager. As like an introductory to horror, like if they're too afraid to jump into real scary stuff, this would be a fun one to put on for them. No, what I'm gonna put on. I loved yeah. horror, and this sat weird with me. I just, I thought it was more of a goofy, fun time, even when I was a kid, because I was watching a lot of horror films at the time. Yeah. And this one was okay, but I never had the urge to revisit. But apparently, it's become like a cult classic. Yeah. People yeah. really love this movie. Like Ghost Ship. And much like Ghost Ship, only really but the Ghost beginning was good. Me. Yeah, yeah. The, and certain Ghost movies Ship. just broke rules for me. Like, the, yeah. uh, oh, uh, The Grudge. Yeah. Totally fine until the girl runs to her house, puts the covers up, and it comes under the covers. And I was like, you can't do that. That, that is was, a fortress. You're breaking the rules. Uh, that, that part scares yeah, me. Once right. you put the covers over, you're safe. You're safe. The monster can't get you. It can't touch you. Yeah, I didn't if see you the, come back out, I didn't sure. see the yes. newest. I didn't see the newest Grudge re remake. I haven't uh, either. Which one? The one on Netflix? Uh, the one the from prequel? like 2020. No, they made another remake. Oh, I'm not watching mm -hmm. that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, no, certain rules are broken. And like, for example, I guess that's why it stuck with me so strongly. Mm. Her killing the mom at the beginning. And I yeah. was like, this isn't okay. It's got a good introduction. Uh, yes. I just think the rest of the movie is kind of hit or miss. And it now, kind of goofy. And now, when you know, and now when you know that there was like a nine month break in production, it was right. rewritten and reshot. That's why there's inconsistent scenes. Yeah, there's a scene with the uh, Larry and, um, oh my God, what's the main character? Kyle. Kyle. Uh, in the car together when they're driving out of Darkness Falls. Mm hmm I can tell they're doing redubbing. I'm not taking you back to the hospital. Hey, you're gonna lay low until the judge gets back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, their mouths are messed up. And I'm, I'm like, look, and I'm like, he didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you know, they, they were leaving the town of Darkness Point Falls. Fairy, Darkness Falls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it is a fun movie to watch Point when you Fairy know. Point Fairy would make more sense. That sounds more like a town that would have a lighthouse. Yeah, it would actually. <laughs> In Darkness Falls. Uh, but hopefully this video was educational for you. Cause like I said, I, I did a deep dive in this. I listened to everything I could find. Yeah. Uh, and the lesson here was even if she or he is a monster, you know, you can still, you can, you can still well, get my, it. My favorite thing like I said, Jonathan Liebsman's first movie. Uh, apparently when it came out, it just got ripped apart by the critics. 
Which is funny because like a lot, like they said, like a lot of the things the critics were complaining about would have been answered if they didn't cut all the stuff out. So, right. uh, but he would have been fine if it was a longer movie. He was reading the 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 reviews of being all sad, and apparently the producers make fun of him because they're like. They're like, he's sitting there being like, no one likes my movie. And they're like, John, it's the number one movie in America. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it literally won this weekend. Like, people like your movie. Relax. It's weird it never became a franchise. They're hinting yeah. at it in Blood the track the afterwards. Yeah. It did really well. It was a hit. But I think it was a good standalone. I don't think they could build on that. I mean, they barely got this one off the ground. Yeah. They barely got the movie they wanted. But I don't know. I feel like they could have done a sequel. Like, why they not? They could have done a, like, a beginning type thing. You know what I mean? Like, well, they wrote oh, that prequel comic. Oh, that would be cool where you actually see Matilda's mm -hmm. Matilda, story. the creation or whatever. Yeah. Right. And see like why creation? she has so much hate in her heart. That's, I was making fun of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that one was okay. The Annabelle sequels are okay. The first one, not see, so much. I was I wish... thinking more like Fear Street. Did you guys see yes. that? Yeah, Fear Street was yeah. fun. And how they did the throwback. Yeah, that too. was cool. That was good. Yeah, I like that. My thing with Annabelle is the doll's too creepy. The doll should be a normal doll. A ra it was Annabelle's a Raggedy Ann doll. I know. Hmm? I don't think any version of Annabelle's creep. They maybe because the dolls never were my creep factor. I do like that Annabelle shows up in the DC movies. Yeah. She's an Aquaman and I she's in Shazam. Oh my God. Because James Wan produced, did Aquaman, yeah, he produced Conjure. And then though. Shazam, it's the director of one of the Annabelle movies. So she's in the, th the pawn shop. Okay. Anyway, Darkness Falls. It's whatever. It's forgettable. Five. Points. Yeah, six, it's got some memorable stuff. Ten. Uh, it's interesting. It's a fun movie to learn about the backstory of. Mm. Uh, just to see, just to see. Usually, movies are this chopped up and met in a mess, and they just flop or whatever. Right. But this one was a hit. It left some kind of an impact on all of us, mm -hmm. despite how messy it was. Like the fucking toy coming out right. being wrong. Um, but yeah, I definitely say check it out if you want. I want to read the comic now. Yeah, I didn't know about that. That guy still writes a ton of comics. Well, I want to um, read that one, though, because it's I read more of his scarier comics. than the film. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I would say look up the Doug Jones if you want a better look at this, uh, some of the pictures of it. Mm. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure they could have done a sequel. Like, yeah. fucking Jeepers Creepers has three goddamn sequels. Yeah, they could have. Uh, the newest one's coming out. There's a bunch of movies that have shit. But it would have been a waste of money because this was already teetering on scary, not, you know. No. Now as an adult, not so much. So, like, it would have just. No, it would be dumb to do a sequel now. It would have made sense to do like five sequels all through the 2000s, but that's it. Where do you stand? Is this a forgettable horror flick for you or is it like a cult classic? Is this one of your favorites? Do you love this movie? Do you dress up like Matilda Dixon every Halloween? With the titties or the one in the movie? Uh, well, probably the one in the movie. Okay. That's a hard costume to do. It is, but. Plus, no one wants to dress up as the deleted monster from a movie. I would. You probably would. Oh yeah. my God. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it from us. Uh, we laughed. We cried. You cried. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. Yes. And watch those reviews that you guys haven't watched. Yeah. Go back and watch the Mummy Returns review. We got screwed over. Corridor Crew put out a Mummy Returns video two days before us with the same, like, the same picture of the rock in their thumbnail. Yeah. So go back and check out Mummy Returns. That's a very, very good episode. Or Ginger Snaps at the very least. I watched that one and I thought it was amazing. The, that is a really good episode. I'm sorry. Oh, it yeah, is a good episode. A you movie. know what? They actually did a follow up on Patreon for Ginger Snaps too. <gasps> mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of fun stuff on Patreon. I finally did some. I should send you the stream. Uh, I did some exclusive streams on Patreon for the ten dollar tier. I watched my old high school videos oh, God. of me remaking movies with my friends. We had a lot of fun. I've probably seen some of them in TV studio. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, the fans really enjoyed seeing high school Tony being slapped in the face with a with a stuffed shark mm -hmm. in my Jaws remake. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. Uh, so ch check out those. Uh, I did like one edit stream. I'm going to do. I, mean, I probably already did it by the time this airs. I'm thinking I'm going to do some streams where I'm designing the thumbnails, give okay. people a little behind the scenes look. Okay. Uh, but remember, $2 tier, you get all the bonus videos and behind the scenes stuff. Five, you get commentary tracks. And 10, you get all of that, including desktop backgrounds. Mm. People think it's just the desktop backgrounds. I'm like, no, I'd be an asshole if it was just that. But you also get the streams and all the other stuff. Uh, but yeah, check that out. And uh, where can we find you, Kira? On Instagram, uh, Kira.Mortis. Joanna, where can we find you? <sighs> I'm on Twitter, uh, Stuff Like Hearts, and on Twitch, as Stuff Like Games. 
and no other websites no that other might fans have fans websites. No other websites that have the word fans in the no, title. No, oh. no loonies from me. No. No, born again. Yeah, I'm I love Jesus. Yeah, much like me. Remember, I I born again virgin since October. Born again? Yeah. Been a born. All right, we're done. Let's yeah. wrap this up. You know, you know, conveniently <laughs> after my breakup, I decided, you know, I'm a born again virgin. <laughs> All right, goodbye, Why everyone. Did you giggle like that? <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> They're playing like Felicia versus Bishamon. And if Bishamon ends with a certain move, you just cut Felicia in half. Did you make sure to see Orchid's thong? Yeah. Here's 30 more chances as she spins around. See, okay. you've got the Batgirl shirt on and you're oh. wearing a Robin t-shirt. Batgirl and Robin to your Batman. And Turtles ha is like Star Wars in the like, Star Wars is a 70s thing that ran into the 80s. Yeah. Turtles started in the 80s, but really grew in the 90s. Yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talk, talking, talking about tapes.